Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today's lecture is on chapter 2, concrete, uh, which is part 2 on fresh concrete. This lecture will be presented by Hasli Idayu binti Amaruddin. Alright, so the link account, at the end you should be able to identify the properties of fresh concrete and then you explain the factor affecting consistency and workability of the concrete. And then later on part 2 will be on the segregation and bleeding and also testing of fresh concrete. Okay, so after we uh, properly design our mix and then we are going to mix it and it become a fresh concrete. What is a uh, fresh concrete is actually the mix of cement, water, aggregate and also admixture. A, we need to put admixture. Okay, the constituents material should be uniformly distributed within the concrete mass so that we uh, it's easier for us to handle and placing of the mix. The consistency of the mix uh, be such that the concrete can be transported, the places and also finished su sufficiently early enough to attain the expected strength and also the expected durability. Okay, so these are some pictures of fresh concrete on placing. So for fresh concrete to be acceptable, it should be, the first one must be easily mixed and transported transport and then the concrete must be uniformly distributed after the mixing and also the consistency of the concrete it means that can, can be transport place and finish completely have good finishing characteristic ability to be compacted and also no segregation during placing or consolidation of the aggregate Okay, so what are the process in concreting? The first one is the mixing process, which we blend all the, the material. And then we transport to the side, replacing of the fresh concrete. And lastly, we compact. Okay, the first 48 hours is very important to determine the performance of our concrete. So the what are the requirements for a good fresh concrete? The first one is the concrete must be mixed ability, stable, flow ability, and also with minimum segregation and also bleeding. Okay, so what is mixed ability? The ability to produce homogeneous fresh, fresh concrete. It means that uh, we are able to produce very well mixed fresh concrete. Stable means no segregation during transporting or placing of fresh concrete and also the tendency of bleeding should be minimized. Okay, so segregation and bleeding is the problem that we have uh, in terms of workability of our fresh concrete. Flowability should be able to flow well and without segregation and also lo losing their continuity or homogeneity. Okay, so properties of fresh concrete, this is uh, three things that we have to look into in our fresh concrete. Workability, consistency and uniformity of our fresh concrete. Okay, so the property uh, determine the effort required to manipulate the freshly mixed quality of concrete with minimum uh, loss. And also the property of freshly mixed concrete or mortar. Uh, can be determined the ease and homogeneity which uh, we can be mixed, placed or consolidated and finishes. Okay, depending on the standard. Okay, this is the two standard that we are going to refer on fresh concrete. Okay, so let's say look into the first property which is the workability of the fresh concrete. The workability is very important for fresh concrete. It defined as the ease of fresh concrete can be mixed place, compacted, work with and also finish. Uh, 
It also defined as the mechanical energy or work required to fully compact of the concrete without segregation. Okay, so next is the consistency of the fresh concrete. The consistency is actually the degree of weightless or fluidity of our fresh concrete. It, it describes the ease of flow of the concrete. If our mix is too wet, then segregation may occur, and resulting with honeycomb or acid bleeding, or sand streaking on the form surface of the concrete. Okay. It must not be assumed that wetter the mix, the more the workable it is. It is okay. So it just means that we have to properly design our mix so that uh, it's not too wet and also not too too dry. If too dry, it may be difficult for us to to place and compact, and may uh, segregation may occur due to to lack of cohesiveness and plasticity of the fresh concrete. Okay, so this is some problems in concrete. The first one is honeycomb of concrete due to some segregation. So here, you can see the aggregates here. Uh, the finished finish concrete or hardened concrete is not well finished. Okay, so we can see some uh, aggregate exposed to the weather. Uh, and also bleeding of fresh concrete. So it means that the water is come up to the surface. Uh, that's why we call it as bleeding. Okay, so the third one is the uniformity of the fresh concrete, which is stable distribution of the seeming aggregate and water. For uni uniformity, we don't have a standard test to test, but we necessary to use rheometer to measure the yield stress and also plastic viscosity of the fresh concrete. Okay, so what are the factors affecting our workability of fresh concrete? Uh, okay, so these are the factors that uh, affecting our workability of the concrete. We can categorize it into three. The first one is the environmental. Uh, the second one is the material that we use and also the time uh, we place. Okay, so in, in terms of the uh, environment, it may be due to the temperature, humidity and also the velocity. In terms of the material, we, we need to check the cement, water, admixture, and also aggregate. Okay, so in aggregate, there are uh, some other factors in terms of aggregate that affect our workability. Okay, so let's look into this one by one by one. Okay, factor affecting workability and also the consistency of our fresh concrete. The first one is water cement ratio. The higher the water cement ratio, will increase our workability and also increase void in the concrete and it may result the segregation and also bleeding. So uh, for hardened concrete, it will cause some uh, shrinkage and creep crack. The final cement that we use uh, improve the cohesiveness of the mix but also it reduce the workability. The final cement is can influence more bleeding of the uh, fresh concrete. Uh, this is due to when we use finer cement, it in uh, the workability of the concrete will be increased because we increase the specific surface of the uh, cement. Okay, the second one is the mixed proportion. The higher the aggregate or cement ratio the leaner or thin of concrete that we can produce. Uh, in case of rich concrete uh, with lower aggregate cement ratio, that means we, we provide more paste, uh, so we are able to, to make uh, mix cohesive and also uh, fatty to give better workability. Okay, so uh, for rich concrete means we have cement or more as compared to aggregate. So here, this one for aggregate or cement ratio higher means we have more aggregate. Okay, and then we look into the size of the aggregate. The workability of the concrete is mainly influenced by the total surface area of the aggregate. Uh, the workability will be decreased 
if we have specific surface increase, which is require a greater proportion of cement paste to wet the aggregate particles. We means we have more aggregate particles, so means we, we need more cement uh, to, to blend all our materials. And the workability is increased when the maximum size aggregate or aggregate particle becomes the overall grading causes. So means we reduce the total specific surface area area which is uh, it means here when we use a uh, higher size of aggregate uh, so so then we we reduce the total specific surface area means we when we use higher uh, size of aggregate so then we use lesser uh, particles so that the total specific area will be reduced then we increase the workability this. And also, the other uh, factors is the shape of aggregate that we use. Uh, the aggregate can be round aggregate or angular. Round aggregate contributes to better workability since it has less surface area. It means that less void. Okay, so easy for us to, to mix uh, when you use rounded aggregate. And for rounded aggregate, require less water to achieve better uh, packing density. And also the surface texture of the aggregate. Since workability is a much more depending on the total surface area, so if you provide rough texture, the surface area is small as compared to smooth round aggregate. Okay, so means uh, when we use rough texture, the workability will be reduced as compared to when we use a smooth or progressive texture aggregate. And then the grading of the aggregate, so it, uh, a well-graded aggregate is the one which has least amount of voids. Uh, void. So total voids are less. When we have total voids are less, then we, we have excess cement paste to give a better lubricating effect. Lubricating is some kind of uh, oily so makes the, the the mix stick together so the better the grading the less in the what of what content and also improve the workability and okay so the last uh, the next is the use of admixture sometimes we add admixture into our concrete uh, chemical admixture can be used to increase workability for example we use air and training agent to produce air bubbles which act as sort of ball bearing to make the, the mix lubricant, to make the, the, the mix uh, oily. So means uh, the, the interaction between the particles is increased. So we can increase the mobility, workability, and also we can decrease the bleeding and circulation of our fresh concrete. The use of fine pozzolanic materials also have better lubricant effects and give more workability. Okay, so next uh, uh, factor is on the weather condition, which is depend on temperature and also the wind. Uh, if the temperature is high, it means that the evaporation of the water increases, thus we reduce our workability. And also, if we have a uh, wind with greater velocity, the rate of evaporation will also increase, thus reduce our amount of water and also reducing our workability of the concrete. Okay, so what are the typical relationship between workability and also the cost aggregate? Okay, uh, here is a, a graph shows the cost aggregates against the workability. You can see here, once we increase the volume of the aggregate, the workability is increases until it reaches its optimum cost content, uh, cost aggregate content. So after we reach the optimum, when we increase the volume, it will reduce our workability so means we need to know what is uh, our optimum cost content uh, in able to produce a uh, workability fresh concrete uh, here is the effect of aggregate shape on aggregate cement ratio of concrete with different workability okay uh, the y-axis is present our workability and here is the a is the angular aggregate 
the B is irregular aggregate and C is rounded aggregate. So if you using a uh, rounded aggregate, it means we can use a uh, higher aggregate cement ratio, which is we use uh, more aggregate as compared to cement with uh, better workability. Okay, and here is the effect of aggregate surface texture on the aggregate cement ratio and also the uh, different workability. So here we compare the competing factors against the aggregate cement ratio. Uh, if you can see here is, let's say uh, for angular of rough texture, it means that when we increase our aggregate cement ratio, it will reduce our competing factors. So it will reduce our workability. Okay, so this uh, the the first part of the uh, lecture. We are going to continue on the part two later on. All right, thank you.